if the government will not take serious our concerns, I think by January we shall tell our members not to report to schools. Yes. 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 Because we don't want to do until the government listen to our cries. Yes. Another issue is the issue of insecurity. They are working in areas with a lot of insecurity. Recently you heard that a KSS student was killed in Sarmat. Now if a student was killed, do you think a teacher, the teacher is also safe? No, no, no. So these people are working under very difficult situation. They are working in very insecure, uh, insecure areas. And we are telling the government to provide security not only to JSS teachers but also to all Kenyans. I'm here today with solidarity with the JSS teachers and we are saying that let them con confirm as permanent and pensionable. Yes. Then second, these JSS schools to be domiciled in secondary school yes. because of the poor conditions in primary schools. Yes. And then also to be paid well because of the cost of living in Kenya today. I'm Priska Remeluk, a teacher, a JSS teacher from SOC and I'm here praising the voice of JSS teachers who are suffering. The government promised us one year internship to work in these areas and we are now seeking our rights. We are coming here to demand for our confirmation as JSS teachers. Yes. One, we are, not pre we are not making our life to be the first priority, but we are also working for the, we are also raising the rights of those kids. We are teaching things that we are not even understanding them. For our case, we are teaching home science and in home science we have Sewing machines and for our case we don't know even how to handle them. Solidarity forever. So